Hello, everybody. Happy Saturday morning. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. We have a spoiler that dropped yesterday afternoon. It was right on that cutoff time where I was already having a nice ice-cold mango michelada and didn't feel like making the breaking news story because I didn't want to ruin whatever thing you had going on Friday night. You would have had to run to your computer, ditched your date. I know how it is. You guys are so loyal. But People Magazine spoiled the ending of the show. That's right. Uh, Reality Steve posted this yesterday. Didn't get one by big uh, spoiler king Reality Steve. He's going to share the photo that People Magazine accidentally showed. Now, there's some plausible deniability here. This is somebody proposing to charity. Maybe she says no. You know what I mean? Maybe, uh, you know, in most cases, most finalists end up proposing unless they want success like Matt James and Rachel Kirkconnell. But in other news, we're going to get into it. Who can't fall in love in three weeks? Well, at a four percent at a four percent success rate, I'll tell you who. But before I get into the spoiler, speaking of falling in love on The Bachelorette, I got to interview Brian Abasolo. This is going to be our uh, Driving with Dave today. It is coming out directly after the video you're watching now on the Dave Neal Show. But here's a quick teaser for you. I'm sure you heard the story. Rachel Rachel had a list. Rachel had, oh, really? Rachel had a, like a PDF document. Did you, how much, to... what, was your, uh, what was your win percentage on that? Um, I mean, I think I answered every, like, I was completely forthright. I, I told her everything she wanted to know. Like, I didn't hold anything back because, right. you know, I know... There's been instances I know in Bachelor Nation where, you know, people don't talk about those things until after it airs mm -hmm. and then, you know, on the tell-all or whatnot, then it comes to light and that's a big problem. There it is, folks. Today's Driving with Dave featuring Brian Abasola. You're going to love that conversation. 47 minutes of pure, unedited um, adult male energy. I don't know. You'll, you'll like it. Anyway, let's go to it. Here's a spoiler. I gave you a chance to tune away if you didn't want. The winner, possibly, of, of this season's Bachelorette reality. Steve posted this yesterday afternoon. Not that you didn't already know the, final, the finale spoiler, but thanks to an eagle-eyed reader in People.com's story about Jesse Palmer and his wife being present, pre uh, pregnant, and we'll get to that right after. After, they accidentally slid the wrong picture into the story and someone screenshotted it before it disappeared. Here it is, folks. Don't look if you don't want to know. Here it is. Old Dotton right there, down on one knee, proposing to charity. Now, uh, we uh, we don't see her saying yes. We, uh, we don't see her saying no. But that photo, they must have had, you know, some intern. They're like, it's almost like when you go to Starbucks at 4 p.m. You don't get the A game from Starbucks. The A game at Starbucks is working the 7.30 to 11 a.m. shift. They're there making the Frappuccinos when there's 17 people in line. You want to go at 4 p.m.? They're training the new guy with the lazy eye. They don't know what the hell's going on over there. You know, I said no sugar. Next thing you know, they've got matcha powder inside of my latte. It's a whole mess and that's what people magazine had because uh they probably had their unpaid intern getting the finale of his uh you know he's like i got three hours left for my summer internship they're like all right well just take care of this jesse palmer story and then what do they do spoil the whole season of the bachelorette and this is what's so annoying i can't even get a screener no one's sending me pre-copy press no one's giving me interviews and then some you know tumbleweed over here on people just slides in the wrong photo i didn't spoil it it. I can hold on to a secret, folks. Loose lips sink ships. We can take care of it. Either way, after they made the error, they put the right photo in, and that's the breaking news story. Ladies and gentlemen, Bachelor host, the funniest host of The Bachelor that they've ever had, the most charming and best-looking host, the, the host that's not Chris Harrison or Tayshia or Caitlin. We've got Jesse Palmer and wife Emily Fardo expecting their first baby. Congratulations, everybody. A a real, I mean, this baby's going to have a good jawline, if you ask me. It's going to come out with nice dimples. Emily has always wanted a daughter, and she, oh, it's a daughter. Okay, you don't want a good jawline if it's a daughter. Maybe you do. Yeah, women can have strong jaws, right? All right. Uh, yeah, careful when you're breastfeeding. Uh, she's a latcher. Emily has always wanted a daughter, and she is maternal by nature. I've always known that she is going to be the best mom, the former NFL player tells people. Bachelor Nation keeps growing. Bachelor host Jesse Palmer and his wife Emily are expecting their first baby together. A daughter in early January. People can exclusive, exclusively announce. I would have liked if they did a, a gender reveal during a rose ceremony. There's like all these red roses and then all of a sudden Charity's got a blue rose. And they're like, why do you have a blue rose? Because Jesse's having a boy. I don't know. We're pink. Um... 
I have two. Okay, so here's what he has said. I have two brothers and four nephews, so we are finally getting a female addition to the family, to the Palmer family. Palmer tells people Emily has always wanted a daughter, and she is so maternal. Okay, so we got that. What else can they say? There's a zoomed in photo of the light baby bump. If you were wondering, and by the way, that is a rock on the finger. Uh, clearly, Jesse Palmer uh, did wise with his investments there uh, because he has put a rock on her finger. The model, 34 years young, can't wait to meet her little girl. I'm so excited to share life with our daughter, take her on fun adventures, and share with her the lessons that life has taught us. The baby has already won over the former NFL player. I know our daughter is going to walk all over me. She already has me wrapped around her finger, Palmer says, also admitting, I'm a little nervous since I never grew up with girls in the house. Will Jesse Palmer's daughter um, hang out with Nick Vial's kid? Will they hang out with Jason's kid in Nashville? So many babies will be coming in the Bachelor world. Uh, Emily Fardo tells people she's felt really good up to this point in her pregnancy and here's the full shot there of course we've got jesse palmer wearing his best uh, you know white uh uh jeans there uh not exactly a fan of the look but hey what do nice shirt though he's got the nice short sleeve sort of knit um polo there whatever you want to call it and he's embracing the little baby bump on model wife there so we'll have to see if she's doing any maternity modeling i'm working out daily and my appetite has increased exponentially which i'm not complaining about she shares welcoming a baby girl means the couple's aussie doodle lulu will become a big sister we think lulu is excited about having a baby sister this is how you know this is just a good article for a friday <laughs> lulu the aussie doodle is gonna have a baby sister <laughs> what the hell are we doing every time we mention the word sister or baby lulu perks up and becomes very focused all right so lulu knows what sister lulu knows english that's impressive uh we always say that about our dog he knows what we're saying no he doesn't all he hears is food 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 feed me feed me pee 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 food 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 scratch me scratch me palmer and fardo started dating in 2017 and got engaged in petty in july 2019 they quietly tied the knot uh, uh they quietly tied the knot in tied the knot. Okay, here's a typo, folks. I'm going to read what they wrote. They quietly tied the knot in tied the knot in Connecticut in June 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to, you know, I don't know if you guys knew this, but I actually control the Pulitzer Prize Award section of the Pulitzer program. And I'm going to actually give the Pulitzer Prize Award to that sentence right there one more time they quietly tied the knot and tied the knot in connecticut in june 2020 after canceling their planned wedding in provence france due to the covid 19 pandemic i ran out of air reading that sentence that sentence wins the award for most words ever used in a sentence most times in tied in tied in tied the knot we were only are you still listening we were only able to invite a small group of close friends that live in the greater in new york city area uh and that what were and that were in quarantine at the time the pair told the people at the time Jesus Christ, this article sucks. We had a lovely afternoon. Let me read that one sentence one more time. We were only able to invite a small group of close friends that live in the greater New York City area and that were in quarantine at the time, the pair told the people at the time. We had a lovely afternoon and look forward to celebrating our love with our parents and immediate families all together soon. I feel like I'm in hooked on phonics in the knot, in the knot. It's like, is, am I reading it right? Or am I just a CD player that's skipping in July, 2022? Is the article still going on? She revealed on Instagram that she and the holiday baking champion host said, I do again at Chateau de la Gold, a luxury hotel in Aix-en-Provence, France, regardless of the size of their initial wedding, Palmer and Fardo, uh, Fardo and Palmer said they feel so grateful and lucky to have found each other. He'll host a season 20 finale of The Bachelorette on Monday at 8 p.m. And don't worry, we've already spoiled the ending for you. All right, folks. So there is your latest uh, Bachelor couple and they're doing their thing. Click next. It might not upload right away. We had a sound issue. That's on me. Just when I thought I had everything figured out, I had a late, late sound issue with Driving with Dave. It's uploading right now. It'll be up by 10 a.m. West Coast time. So so make sure to check back for that. There'll be a link. You can go click on it. Go watch all the past episodes. You're going to love my conversation with Brian Abasolo. That comes up next.